Welcome, folks. Nice to see so many bright faces this morning. We are gathered today to celebrate the life of Lorraine Horwitz. She was a wonderful woman, and she made the best fried chicken in the entire country. County, excuse me. And oh yes, she knew the Lord, and I'm happy to announce that she has gone to be with him for eternity. Jesus washed her sins as white as this shirt on my back with his blood as crimson as this tie around my neck. And she was a hard working woman. Are you what? Nothing. New Mexico, which she and her husband Daryl managed together before he passed some years back. But if there's one thing that we can remember about Lorraine, it is the love and the family that she left behind. Her son Devin, her daughter Rachel, and her two grandchildren, Woody and Samantha. to the airport. Can you fly us until tomorrow? Yeah, it's called sleeping in the terminal, which you wouldn't know because you've never been on a plane. There's something I gotta show you. Dang, Granny really outdid yourself there. Leaving us the ranch and all. Maybe she thought it'd be best if she gave it straight to us. I mean, my folks are getting on. Why didn't she just leave it to you? You live here. I haven't been here since I was like nine. She didn't pick favorites. I'm in a freaking horse movie. We don't have horses here. Sam? Sam? I'm getting an Uber. Albuquerque International Airport. Sam, I've got a lawyer coming in tomorrow, but I need you here. I am flying back to LA tomorrow. Literally, what were you thinking? I don't know. I just I got nervous. Yeah. Sam, Sam get me another one. one. I, I said, said get, get me another, another one. one. Sam. Are you okay? Stop crying. I'm not. Well, you were earlier, and it made me want to cry now. Okay. Look, I'm giving you my half of the ranch. I'll do whatever it takes, and I'm gone. Sure.
I hate this. I hate this so much. What was that? I was just talking about how much I love everything. I love this prehistoric laptop. Um, I love the smell of cow turd in the air, and I love the sound of that rooster crowing, um, not even at dawn, but at like every other hour of the day. Why does he, why does it do that, Woody? If you hate it so much, why'd you come back? Because Granny was the only source of stability in my entire life. All right, uh... Then it will be ready in a little bit. Uh, Jeff should be here any second, too. Who? Mind getting that? So, have you been uh, working with Woody for a while? <laughs> I've been working here since both of you were knee-high to a grasshopper. You're the one who taught me how to fish sham, remember? Oh! Y yeah. So, uh, I hear Granny left you to the ranch. Yeah, that's been fun. So you plan to stick around? Oh, no. Uh, I'm giving it all to Woody. I don't know how to do the horse stuff. Um, we don't have horses here. Okay, what do you have here, Woody? <coughs> wow, this was worth the trip. Might as well know what you're signing over. Trust me, I know what I'm giving up. They're only two weeks old. Still attached to their mothers. Hey, are we done with all that legal stuff? Your grandmother willed the property to you too? However, her daughter, uh, Ms. Rachel Horowitz, is a co-owner on the property. So we're gonna need her to sign off on this in order for you two to legally own it. We need her signature? That's correct. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. My Aunt Rachel's actually in rehab right now, but uh, we'll do our best to contact her. Uh, thank you for your help. <clears throat> yeah, um, as Miss Harwitz's next of kin, it will actually be up to Miss Samantha to contact her. How much is that again? Uh, 7,000. Will that be cash or check? Uh, can I write you check? I only take cash. Oh, uh, well I'm gonna have to move some money around to, you know, I want need some more time to pay back. Uh, I have I have the money. I have, I have it. I just need to find it. Can't even freaking believe it. What'd you find? Oh, oh. oh sorry. I didn't mean to startle you. It's fine. It's fine. Uh, meet my mom's old stash. Can't even believe it's still here. Ah, uh, well, that's no problem. We can take care of that. So, did you figure things out with the lawyer? Uh, no. And if it were up to me, I would ditch this legal mess. But this lucky next of kin has to make sure Woody keeps that roof over his head. Next of kin? Yeah, my mom's like a co-owner of the property, I guess, but somebody got herself sent to rehab. Ah. 
Sounds like you gotta call her. You know, unless you wanna call her for me? Cause I'd give you like a billion dollars and like a boat if you did that. <laughs> Sorry, Sam. It's not me that needs to make that call. Oh, come on, please. I was serious about the boat and the dollars. Some of them. Sunrise Recovery Center. Um, hi, I'm calling for Rachel Horowitz. May I ask who's calling? Uh, this is her daughter, Sam. One moment. Hello? Sam? Sam, are you there? Hello? I'm ready to go home. Okay, uh, did you get a hold of your, well? No, I couldn't get a hold of her. Okay. Ready? Yeah. Let's go. When uh, you figure you'll be out here next? Uh, I got a lot of stuff back in LA. What's happening? Hold on, you're gonna. Well, what, what's happening? What is this? Uh, it's flooded. What? No, 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 no. Oh, oh my gosh, no. <laughs> Sam, get me another one. I said, get me another one. You gotta be kidding me. Hey, do you think you're funny or something? Beg your pardon? What'd you do to the truck? Didn't do anything to the truck. But you weren't ready to go anyway. I'm sorry, who do you think you are? You know, when you and your mother moved here years ago, your granny needed help. She was beginning to come to terms with her own bad parenting, you know? Yeah, I'll bet. Yeah, she came to me. She was at her wit's end. She came to you? What do you, were you like her? She asked for my help. She needed help with your mother, with you. She began to realize she couldn't do it on her own. So we talked every day. I don't even remember you. No, but Woody does. He asked for my help, too. Around the ranch? Why can't I leave? You can leave. You just can't escape. Escape what? Your unforgiveness. You have no idea what she did to me. I have every idea what she did to you. I was there the whole time. How on earth am I supposed to forgive her? You do what your granny did. You ask for my help. I don't want your help. I don't even know you. Please just stay out of my life.
Sam. Truck's fixed, we're ready to go. Why don't you have horses, Woody? Huh? This would make a lot more sense if you had horses. I would know what would happen next. Sure. Granny, uh, wasn't always sweet. She used to have an awful mean streak. But, I think she chose to try, even if she didn't understand. Uh, I, I think we choose to try, even if it doesn't make sense. None of this makes sense to me. Okay. Hey, Woody. Uh, yeah. Thank you for trying with me. Okay. Don't worry about the wheel. I'll sort it out when your mom gets out. Hey, hey, wait, stop. Did you forget something? really nice well I had a better purpose for it Deb what do I do you'll have to call her I don't want her to hurt me you can't control that will you come with me always
Now I'm going to read from the 23rd Psalm. Now stop me if you've heard this one before. Stop. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Are we cutting? That was great, Dad. Yeah, cut. Okay, all right. <laughs>